So, instead of doing this spread right here right now, I think I should talk about the difference between, I guess, oracles and tarot. I know I was watching Angelic Guidance's video this morning. I think she, she put it out yesterday. I was meant to click on it yesterday, but I ended up watching it this morning. Okay, the difference, okay, this is oracle. These are oracle messages, messaging uh, cards. You have different ones. You have different decks. You have, uh, like, this one's the angel oracle, you know, guidance. And it just has positive messages on it from angels and stuff like that. Just these are used to kind of kind of uh, give encouragement, give uh, guidance, and different things like that. Depending on what deck, like this right here is the life purpose deck. So this deals more so with life, my life obstacles and career based stuff, stuff like that. Just career guidance and life guidance. This right here, this is the oracle. This is the angel guidance oracle deck. I mean, it has every possible, almost mo it's so many angels, but the main angels and things like that, and also just kind of giving positive reinforcements from an angelic uh, base, like messages from actual angels and stuff like that, right? So, um, and then you have this one right here, which is the Romance Oracle deck. You probably have seen this on YouTube a million and one times, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful art right each one of them have beautiful art i love i do love the oracles they're beautiful the artwork is beautiful uh the divination messages the the you know the spiritual messages are all the same they're all positive this is more so dealing with ro the romance sector this is literally love and stuff like that it has a little bit of career but anything that's going to affect the love sector of your life this is what this is for and then you have let me see if i can grab it i mean the oracles are just different um you have some with the, um, how can I, I, some more so direct messaging and stuff like that. And, and this is the House of Shadow and Light Oracle deck. You have this one. Then you have some who are just, some that are just themed their specialty. Their specialty Oracle, um, Oracle cards like these. It's like the pretty doll. They look creepy, <laughs> but they're really beautiful. If you know me, I'm one of those little emo chicks, so anything emo looking I like I just like that kind of uh, Tim Burton you know like the Nightmare Before Christmas is like one of my favorite movies so it, that's what it reminds me of and that's why one reason I got this deck but I mean just beautiful artwork but they have messages and stuff like that and I think sometimes people confuse confuse it with uh, the, like she was saying like the Salem witch trials and, sh and stuff like that like if you if you go back and watch that that video, it's, it's the one she did about the email. She's answering emails and things like that. And yesterday was what the 19th. So her her video she released for June 19th. Um, like these are harmless. These are harmless. And then you even have some. This is like the what is it? The I haven't used this deck in a long time. Like the angelic warrior cards or whatever. And this has all the the female like warriors and like uh, Mother Teresa and just figures and stuff like that. These are very positive. This is like super, the, 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 uh, my feminist deck. <laughs> super feminist, like like the queen deck, basically. The goddess deck. It's the goddess something deck. But yeah, all the goddesses, I mean, Mother Teresa, you name it, it's, you know, represented in here. The mother goddess and stuff like that. And just kind of like, it's, these are harmless. You know, these are harmless. Like, you can't... Oops, uh-oh. I done knocked them all the way down. But that's all right. That's all right. They spilled in this nice little stack. <laughs> but they're harmless. And then this is the, uh, the original. The original right away deck. There's nothing like... there's. This is the deck. I honestly, like, for me personally, this is the deck. I don't believe in just anybody. You have some re readers who only do the oracles. And that's fine. And then there's other readers who do both. Like me. I do both. This is the deck I do worry about. That's why I don't. I take this one serious because it's a little different. I mean, even um, oracles are a little different as well. But I mean, a reader is reader. It's just the intent. It's the intent. You don't have to worry about this. Th these right here. This is not what you worry about. It's the person shuffling them cards that you have to worry about. It's it's that because a lot of these people, especially since YouTube is popping now with the with the. Uh, readings and stuff like that people are making money and they just doing it for money and i don't believe you know what i'm saying i don't believe in that i don't even do readings for, for my friends you know what i'm saying if i don't have the right energy or the, or the right you know you know stuff like that and it's it's youtube period is becoming a gamble so people are just getting on you know whatever because well and then some people feed off of people they feed off of um like they're you get addicted to these 
you know, like, like, like I have people, I've been addicted to them at one point, just a little bit, but not so much to where I'm going flat foot broke and stuff like that. You have some people who go bankrupt because they're addicted to psychic readings and stuff like that. No, it's, it's. It's serious, but it ain't, it ain't that serious for you to go broke. Like, I ain't going broke for no tarot. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I said that, <laughs> the Knave of Pentacles popped right on out because I'm shuffling as I'm talking. Um, but, yeah. Like, this is not nothing to worry about. It's the person that's giving the reading you need to worry about. Because if they energy not right and they just doing this for money, honey, mm-mm. So that's one reason, even on YouTube, I don't watch everybody. And if I watch it, I watch it like I learn different things for certain readers. Like far as like the energy stuff that I know for a fact that I need to uh, kind of learn. And I'm in the mode of learning that particular aspect of it. Like um, the different houses and things of that nature dealing with like, because there's 12 houses of like, of course, like the Zodiac or whatever. And um, I'm shuffling trust. <laughs> so I'm going to learn it. That's something I'm on it and then some connect with crystals so they talk about crystals and some talk about the moon phases and then some talk about uh, past life progressions and, and each reader is just really different so if you're going to watch them watch them with just an open mind but don't some people just oh my god I watch this reading this reading this reading this reading this reading I believe this now it's only maybe I only really watch maybe three it's like three in particular that I watch three or four and it, really I don't even watch them as much you feel me like you know what I'm saying readings at first of course you get addicted to it like anything else but like eventually kind of once you kind of figure yourself out especially if you're, you're learning how to do tarot or getting like me getting back into the habit of doing tarot and stuff like that it's different you know it's, it's different you kind of learn okay well I know this person this person this person so you have to really just be careful. I know, okay, well, this, once you kind of get the feel of it, like, you can tell who's full of bullshit and who's not. You can tell over time, okay, well, they really serious. I can, you, you'll connect. If you're not connected to yourself, you're not going to know what's real, what's fake, you know, some X, Y, Z. You can't fake tarot, if that makes sense, after a while. Sometimes people can just, oh, pick up a card, and especially Oracle, Oracle's different. That tarot, you'll know, you'll know, and even for readers, I don't know whether they know this or not. I don't pick up the card unless I feel like I'm guided to do it. If I I'm, I have the energy to do it, if I'm if I'm not charged up and recharged and rested up and so I don't touch this this thing, and then I don't give readings to just anybody. It ain't the money, it ain't ain't that much money in the world to make me, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, corrode my energy and stuff like that. So it's it's a difference. So it's not the cards you have to worry about; it's the people. And if you're not connected with yourself, like I mean, at the beginning, beginning especially if you're in some type of soul. Uh, twin flame soulmate journey type of situation or even um dream manifestation and stuff like that when you're in the beginning phases of, of learning that stuff or even just kind of learning tarot and all this other different stuff you really have to kind of i mean it gets addictive but scale back eventually you, you kind of start sorting stuff out me personally I, I know who's who i can just look at them the way they're reading the card of course everybody it, it interprets those cards different oracle and tarot but you just know if i don't connect Especially if I watch one, of, normally after that first video, one or two, I'll know. I was like, okay, yes, yes, no. Like, you know what I'm saying, X, Y, Z, you, you kind of just know. So, even if I watch a lot of them, I watch them just kind of just to, it's cool to see other people do what you do. It's kind of like being in, in a college. <laughs> it's that type of stuff, but like, honestly, it's about three readers. It's only maybe three I, I, I watch on a regular and then there's some that I used to watch that I know for a fact it's just I don't connect with them as much but I do trust them as a reader because they've been doing it for a, you know whatever but there's three in particular that I watch three in particular and then some of the other ones I, I, I have on my subscription list but I don't watch them as often but they are trusted readers because I, I watch them probably what since 2017 so it's like they're really honest people it's just that I don't connect connect like that um, no, it's like four. I take that back. There's four of them. There's four that I watch, but there's three that I, I know for a fact that I connect with, gen like just directly, directly. Okay, so I think that's it. Just be careful who you get reading from. Don't be watching everybody. If, but if you watch everybody, I watch it like I watch TV. Because I like tarot, so I watch it like I watch TV. And that's it. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, not, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's, it's the person. Just like people in the pulpit. It's the people. <laughs> so watch for the people, but you'll know who, who's what. You'll connect. You have to just kind of not be so addictive to it. So that's my little two cents. Hopefully you enjoy it. I may make another one. <laughs>